I'm still here. What do you need to take? Let's go. Please, there isn't much time. What is it?
Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. She is the goddess of dawn and dusk. Azura sees into the twilight of the future and guides her followers through it. My people, the Dunmer, built it. We fled from Morrowind after Vardenfell erupted almost 200 years ago. Those people to Azura were given a vision that led us away from the island before the worst came. This shrine is our thanks to her, that none will forget that she watches over us all. Yes, there were others at first, but Azura's visions tested everyone's faith. One by one, they left, afraid to know their own future. But I re Gift. Azura warns me of tragedy, war, death, before it happens. I won't leave her guidance. This has all been foreseen, and we must play our parts. No harm shall come to me, for I live under Azura's wisdom. Her foresight protects me, her insight sustains me.
Maik has heard it is dangerous to be your friend.
What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Mm hmm Yes, yes, what is it? All right, let's, let's not overdo it. <clears throat> you meet me in my quarters. It is no secret that both the Synod and the College of Whispers have recently... Can I help you with anything else? Status of our college here in Winterfell. Carlia! I found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? The College of Winterhold has thus far declined... The problem? Let me see it. No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. The College of Whispers hopes to learn that our college also supports... He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. And should be treated I was devastated when he was killed. Our actual position I suppose that risk always coexisted no with his line of work. Certainly be twisted I just never thought his luck would run out. Indeed, it has been jokingly suggested that we send the exact same response to both, which well, each will... For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tone. Ah, uh, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era, killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Be careful.
If you have a moment, could you help me with something? I still need some help, if you can spare the time. We're all trying to become better mages, right? Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Well, I... I simply thought you might wish to help out one of your fellow mages. If that's not enough, I suppose, I have this amulet you could take. Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Shizargo. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still, and don't move. There! Now I... Oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you... Do you feel alright? You look very... um... green. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. It's not. It shouldn't be. You'll be back to normal in no time. And when you are, we can try this again, and I'll be sure to get it right. Didn't you know? Before the Oblivion Crisis, many elves called Winterhold their home. More visited the college from Morrowind every year. After, growing distrust of magic made life difficult for many. Some left rather than endure the growing hatred from the local Nords. Others returned home after the Red Year, when Vardenfell erupted and caused much destruction. Winterhold itself died in the years between then and now. What's left out there is a husk. Only the college really remains. So far, if only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be, I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. I'd better get going. <coughs> I still need some help, if you can spare the time. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. Urag can be very helpful. Just don't antagonize him. Can you... Can you possibly help Jazargo? Jazargo has seen that Torfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Jazargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Jazargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jazargo stand out as a mage. But Jazargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jazargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jazargo when you are ready. Ha! <laughs> you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jazargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak, with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead, and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jazargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. Mages in Cyrodiil are all about politics. The Synod in the College of Whispers are too busy guarding secrets to bother to teach. Skyrim was not Jazargo's first choice. But Winterhold is removed from politics, dedicated to study. This is the place for Jazargo to become great. Jazargo awaits word of how well his scrolls work. I hear you found some thing in...
You think it could help make me a powerful mage? I still need some help. If you can I need your help with something. Something private. Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family, and I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Not at all. I consider it a blessing. My family was convinced coming here was a death sentence, or worse. It took years of insisting that this is what I'm meant to do. I told you it's from my family. I don't... I know they've always disapproved of what I wanted in life. To learn magic instead of becoming a farmer or a hunter. But no matter how poorly they may have treated me, they're still my family. I didn't consider that until after I made the trade. Until next time. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. Urag can be very helpful. Just don't antagonize him. An elf that studies stars? Where did you hear about that? No, I wouldn't. Why don't you head into town and get a drink at the Frozen Hearth? I hear old Nelikar still has a room there. He knows a lot of stories, that one. No more than anyone else, I don't think. They're a very old order. Predated the Imperial Majors Guild by quite a bit. In fact, the Majors Guild was founded in opposition to the idea of the Sigic Order, that only an elite few should have control over magic. No one has seen or heard from them in over a hundred years now, though. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. You consider restoration a valid school of magic, worthy of study, don't you? Don't you? <sighs> good, good. Not that I require validation, of course. There are just some, and I shan't name names, who would disagree. It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. Well... No, not really. Not directly, I mean. But I know things are being said behind my back. Conversations cease when I enter rooms. I'm quite aware of what's going on here, and I will not stand for it. I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. So, you wish to master the arcane arts?
All right, then.
We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Let's go. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Let's go.
You look awful. Better not get me sick. Well, sure is. I've got another client. Wants me to do some enchanting. You could do the pickup for me if you want. All right, be quick about it, will you? This is a good way for the college to bring in some money. Here's the name and location of the client. Until next time. I think the divine smile on you, friend. In leadership. So you wish to master the arcane arts? If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. There are few. Take a look. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Uh, until next time. Mirabel does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. I'm not sure. Just... Well, mind what you tell him, all right? No, no. Well, I don't think so. Between the two of us, there are rumors about him. That this advisor position he has is a sham, an excuse. That what he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor, trying to feed them information. Whether it's true, I can't say. But it never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? You're welcome. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. I still need some help, if you can spare the time. Exactly as I said it would. Now, are you ready to try again? I am confident it will work this time. This will be worth it. Okay, now don't move at all. Oh my, that isn't right. Just wait, just, I can fix this. Try again. This really isn't turning out the way I'd hoped. I'll get it right this time, I swear. There! All better. Well, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? Agreed. And thank you for your help. You're a good friend. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. 